Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video. In this video, I'll be talking about pharmacology. I'll just give a brief explanation on the topic. So, let's go on into the video. Drug receptors and drug cycle are the two important topics I'm going to discuss. So, basically, drugs don't create any new response in the body. That is, they don't produce anything new inside the body. They just change the activity that is already happening in the body. Now, where does the drug go? Drugs are created to bind to a receptor to cause an effect. So the drug, it directly binds to the receptor and then it produces the effect. So what is a receptor? A receptor is a specialized protein that is located on a cell that the drug binds to or sticks to. If you see in this picture, the receptors are located on top of the cell. So to which the drug particles come and bind. So, particular type of drug, it binds to particular type of receptors. Not all the uh, drug particles can bind to a particular receptor. So, once when the receptors are activated, they trigger a specific response in the body. Like release of neurotransmitters or hormones. So, that's all about the receptors. Uh, I'll give a detailed explanation on receptors in my upcoming video. Now, moving on to type of drugs. So, there are uh, basically two type of drugs agonist and antagonist agonist it stimulates or activates the receptor and antagonist it blocks the reaction or the response so by knowing the action of the drug and kind of activity it is altering and whether it turns the receptor on or off the side effects of those drugs will start making sense so now drug action it can be explained by knowing the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drug ADME that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion are the four phases of pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics is what the body does to the drug. So first phase absorption in which medication is ingested, applied or injected and then it enters into the bloodstream. Then second phase in distribution the delivery of the medication to the target site after it's gotten into the bloodstream it gets delivered to the particular target site where it has to go and then after distribution the uh, the drug has to be eliminated from the body so for elimination the drug has to be broken down it has to be transformed so that process is called as biotransformation the the name itself it indicates transformation so the medication has to be broken down or it has to be transformed so that it can be removed from the body the final stage is called as excretion excretion is nothing but the elimination of the drug out of the body so it's done by our kidney of administration so while we take a pill it directly goes into the stomach or intestine and then it uh, reaches into the bloodstream so the drug can be administered via three ways route of administration it includes three ways enteral parenteral and percutaneous basically parenteral uh, it includes uh, drugs which are given non orally and uh, they are injected directly into the body by passing into the skin and the mucous membrane uh, the common parenteral routes are IV, intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous and in, intradermal. And then in enteral, uh, the drug is given through GI tract oral, PO. PO is uh, oral by mouth. It's a Latin term and it's called by mouth and rectal. Percutaneous uh, route of administration includes uh, routes like inhalation, uh, SL, sublingual, topical and transdermal. Now how fast will be the absorption? So the rate of absorption it depends on the route of administration. Intravenously given drugs they are absorbed the fastest. It just takes 30 to 60 seconds to get absorbed. Oral or transdermal and topical they are uh, absorbed very slowly. So oral, orally given drugs, they, are, uh, uh, they take about 30 to 90 minutes for absorption and transdermal it takes about minute to hours. And then one interesting fact is that liquid medications acts faster than the pills because pills has to be broken down and then it has to be absorbed while liquid medications can directly enter into the bloodstream. And then intramuscular intramuscularly given drugs they act fairly fast because 
muscles they have rich supply of blood now factors that affects the absorption there are about seven factors which affects the absorption solubility ph concentration of medication length of contact age food and depth of breathing the more soluble the medication is the easier it is to be absorbed through the stomach into the blood stream then ph lower the ph or more acidic a medication is it is easier to be absorbed in the stomach then length of contact also affects the absorption for example topical medications if we take topical medication for instance um longer the medication remain on the skin greater will be the absorption and age can also affect the absorption how more absorption is seen in young patients more medications are absorbed through the skin of the young uh, patients than the healthier adults so the next factor is food food it usually slows down the absorption and also the stomach acid it facilitates the absorption so medications will work faster when the acid in the stomach is increased in this way food affects the process of absorption and the next one is depth of breathing so it is in the case of inhalation in the drugs which are inhaled the absorption of inhaled respiratory medications deeper you breathe in the more medication you can inhale so uh, if somebody is taking uh, any uh, nebulizer or inhaler in your home you can advise them to breathe in deep deeper so that more medication can be absorbed and the next one in the pharmacokinetics is distribution phase so distribution is nothing but the delivery of the drug to the target site after it's been absorbed into the blood stream it's usually hard for a drug to travel from the blood to an organ because of the physiological barrier that is present so there are certain types of uh, barriers which i'll discuss and these barriers it allows nutrients or certain chemicals to pass through but not other substances and that includes medication so that's where our problem begins so these are the three barriers blood brain barrier blood placental barrier and blood testicular barrier blood brain barrier it protects our brain brain it becomes a challenge for the pharmaceutical companies when they want to create drugs that are needed to affect our uh, brain such as alzheimer's medication so when these uh, kind of medication it crosses the blood brain barrier we must be aware that these medications have the risk of creating very serious side effects and sometimes it may also cause a permanent damage for example cytotropic drugs and the next one is blood placental barrier so blood placental barrier placenta it's an organ that uh, that grows in the pregnant women which provides nutrients and uh, oxygen uh, to the growing baby through the umbilical cord and it also removes waste products from the baby's blood so this uh, blood placental barrier it filters the drug from passing from the mother to the fetus to protect the fetus and the next one is blood testicular barrier so blood testicular barrier it uh, it protects the male reproductive organs from toxins that can damage the sperms so male reproductive diseases will become difficult to treat because of this uh, blood testicular barrier and the next phase of in pharmacokinetics is metabolism which is also can be uh, termed as biotransformation so in this the medication is gradually transformed to a lesser active or innate form so this process it takes place in the liver by means of enzymes and the other organs that involved in the medication metabolism are kidney and intestine and one interesting note is that insulin we know insulin is usually given through injection that is because insulin if it is given by mouth it is virtually useless because the stomach acid it breaks down uh, to an inactive form before it can be absorbed into the blood stream or even before it reaches the liver so that's why it must be given by injection so the last phase of pharmacokinetics is excretion it is the removing of waste products from the body uh, it is done by our kidney 
it ensures that all the waste products are removed and the medications don't build up or we have accumulation accumulation refers to build up of medication in our body which will lead to illness or toxicity toxicity uh, too much of drug in the blood stream it causes adverse effects so that's all about the pharmacokinetics of the drug and i will discuss about the pharmacodynamics in my next video if you find my video helpful please do follow my channel thank you for watching have a good day